Good morning, everybody. It's Heidi Kaizen at Hen and Chick Studio in Conrad, Iowa. And today I want to talk to you about the new project that I've got going. It's called the Mailbox Project. So I'm using the hashtag, hashtag the Mailbox Project. And here's what it's all about. When I look at my wall of inspiration at home, I have a couple of envelopes that I've had for 10 years hanging on my wall because it is, it was a piece of that person's heart that they created and sent to me. And I loved what it was that they were doing and the creativity that that had. And so I saved it. Now inside, there was something equally as creative happens to be a Christmas picture that I sent her and then she returned it in a whole new form. But this got me to thinking, isn't it wonderful to be able to have a little um, piece of sunshine in your mailbox? And why shouldn't all of us be creating artwork that is fun and creative and put it in the mail and send it to somebody, especially at this time when we can't go and see everybody. So I think that the mailbox project is what we need to be working on. How can you decorate an envelope and make it fun and creative? And then what can you put on the inside that would make that person's day? It might be as simple as a note saying, hello, I'm thinking of you. Maybe it is an old photo that you have of that person and you simply write on the back and uh, say, wasn't this a great memory we had? You don't have to make it into a fancy scrapbook page. Or maybe it is a quote that you love or a bookmark. So many people are reading right now that a bookmark would be great. We even have a free downloadable bookmark pattern that could be made in cotton or in paper on our website. You can find out more about everything that I'm talking about at henandchickstudio.com slash the mailbox project. And I've shown these examples. There's a little video even of a um, inspirational name card series that I did for a friend several years ago. Yours wouldn't have to be as elaborate, but the idea that you're thinking of somebody is what is what is what this is all about and being able to put a little bit of warmth in people's heart and I have to tell you that this morning when we um, opened the mailbox uh, I had a note and the girls said mom can I open this up you know who's this from I didn't recognize the name didn't recognize the place it was from and when I we opened it up it had this beautiful little quilt card and the phrase friendship is sown with love and measured with kindness and I will try to read this without getting emotional because I'm already getting there dear friends at Hen and Chick studio I am NOT a quilter with fabric but I quilt with paper I've been watching your online feeds on Instagram and Facebook I want to thank you for what you are doing in a time like what we're going through right now, this means the world. And I don't know this person, but can I say that I love her for giving me a little bit of warmth and kindness in my day today? Yes, I can. And the Mailbox Project is about doing that same thing for other people. And maybe it's people you know, maybe it's people you don't know. But everybody can use that little bit of sunshine in the mail. So I hope that you will show me your creative efforts, whether it be on Instagram or on Facebook, and add the hashtag, the mailbox project. And you don't, by all means, get rid of names and, and addresses. We don't want any of that. But I do want to see that my feed full of creative things that you're all making. Um, and if you can make beautiful quilt cards like this, add those as well. So I hope you'll participate in the Mailbox Project, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you create.